we've seen this early morning appears to be negating that setup and one thing i want to be looking out for here on the euro usd is that um there is a possibility that price could still continue to the upside here on the euro usd let me allow me to delete this one so that i can have a clear picture of we can have a clear picture of the chats so that we don't get um, constipated with our visual <laughs> okay let me give it 320 i want to push this key level out a little further so that we can have all right so one thing we have noticed here is this one thing we have noticed here on the on the euro usd on the four hours time frame is that um, since price rejected the demand zone here on the So one thing um, I want to show you here on the Euro USD is that since price rejected the demand zone at 1.03700 area, we have seen price continue to find higher lows at this point. And one interesting thing here is this: if you look at the key level at 1.0600 area since um, mid of June, we can see that sellers has been rejecting that area multiple times we've been having rejection of that area multiple times and one thing i told you during our monday session the first session we had this week was that for me to do a buy on this one i want to be looking out for a breakout of that key level at 1.0600 after which a retest of structure will confirm a trend continuation to the upside however since the beginning of the week we've not seen anything like that I've, we've not seen any significant breakout of that key level instead we've been seeing price finding lower lows and um, lower eyes on lower time frame so going into the new york session today one thing i want to us to take into consideration is that the possibility of a bullish momentum is still very very valid on this on this pair why have i said that if we look left we can see that we have the significant breakout of structure here that began on the 15th of June and we saw price do a retest to the neckline area of that structure and since then price has also been respecting that neckline area which at this point in time could be a demand zone for us moving forward so one thing I want to be doing here for the sake of clarity is to identify that demand zone area here and we bring it out and label it with a demand zone as we want to see price continue to respect this area going forward to be confident that we still have a bullish momentum for us to take advantage of so give me a moment let's label this let's label this let's give this a label and we have this area as our demand zone so let's place it right at the center of this so let's give it white. So we have a demand zone right at 1.04900 area, which is also a very strong psychological level. So at this point, I'm still expecting the bullish momentum from this area. Between this area and the key level, we still have about um, 70 pips. Let's see if we can still catch some move from this area. And um, if we want to do that, let's scale down to a much lower time frame. Let's say the 30 minutes time frame to see how price action has been playing out within the last couple of hours. So if we look around this area right now, so I want to see price. We can see we have this impulsive move to the downside here. We have rejection of 1.0500. And then price move further down into the demand zone and we, since then we've been seeing a golf engulfing candle grip the market from this area moving to the upside so going into the new york session now what i want to be doing is to identify a key level temporary key level around this area that will be our guide going forward if we look left we can see that this area at um, 1.05150 area has been a significant level and why have i said that if we look left we can see this area has been a supply zone we have a supply zone here 
we had a supply zone here we had a demand zone around this area we had a demand zone demand zone we had a demand zone here also we have a demand zone demand zone at this point and we also have a demand zone multiple demand zone uh during the beginning of this week here before we saw the breakdown of that structure to the downside and we are back at the demand zone here as you can see we have demand zone in this area so with this information in hand you will agree with me that this area has been a major determinant of price action as every time price comes into this area it either pushes price up or it pushes price down so one thing i want to do at this point is to connect this level together and we should have somewhere around this area as our key level that's 1.01 1.05 1.05 Five one fifty appears to be most appropriate here. Hold on a second. Yes, I think I think that appears to be it. Yeah. So our key level is always gold, but um, I want to use purple here because we do have a major key level here at one point zero six hundred. So I want to differentiate this key level from that area. So we have this key level. Let's label it key level at. 1.05150 dollars and we want to be using that as our yardstick going into the new york session so let's place it right at the top for the sake of clarity so we can always see it on point. yes that's that's it so right now if we look at what has been happening in the last couple of hours we saw that price as broke down this level rejected this level one time came back into our major demand zone we identified on the daily time frame price rejected it one more time then it came down forming something like a reversal pattern in the form of an inverse head and shoulder and finally boom we saw a breakout of that structure so from a technical perspective when you see such reversal patterns you want to see a retest of structure for confirmations on lower time frame to push price to the upside so if this scenario happens, then definitely want to be waiting for price to retest this key level at 1.05150, after which we look for structures that support a trend continuation to the upside. Um, for the meantime, our key level, our take profit target could be around 1.0600 area, after which we could be looking out for something like around 70 pips to catch. And if we do see a breakout of that major key level we identified on the daily time frame, they want to be looking for a retest of structure to add position to the straight. So I'm expecting a bullish moment. I'm still expecting a bullish momentum here on the Euro USD. And we need to be very, very patient as we want to see um, significant confirmations in that regard, considering this um, bearish move that has, that, has, um, that has gripped the market in the last couple of days. So let's go to the daily time frame yes we still have something like this so in the long term perspective we are looking at a take profit target between the 1.08 and the 1.1 dollar area in the nearest future we never can tell how soon that is going to be however if we want to be doing a sell here if a sell opportunity comes around this area how do we take advantage of that move when it happens uh, remember we are looking at um, a major news event today we have the euro we have the dollar and we are talking about this pair right now and you will agree with me that whatever is going to be said today is going to have a major a significant impact on the way price is going to move and we might first of all see sudden sudden traction it at on either side and don't let us get carried away and don't let us get too excited as we want to wait for the signal to form after which we look out for confirmation to join whatever direction price is moving at so one thing i want to be looking at if i want to see a sell on this one then definitely it's going to be up below the key level but i want to see this demand zone broken to the downside it could be a very sharp move it could be a strong bearish engulfing candle after which a retest of this area and we look at our lower time frame to look out for structures that will support a trend continuation to the downside so what this simply means is that this demand zone will now turn to be a new supply zone to guide action to the downside so if that happens then definitely we want to be identifying this area as our supply zone should price reject breakdown and reject 
um, hold on a second i'll just name that because we are not sure what so new supply zone let's give it a question mark for the sake of um um speculation because we are predicting right now we, we're not sure how price is going to play out we are not sure how price is going to play out during the new york session so if price breaks down that area that is if we see price breaks down the demand zone then we see a recess of this area then we look out for patterns on lower time frame that supports a trend continuation and when i say patterns on lower time frame what i mean is my reversal pattern and it will be a, a a head and shoulder pattern a double top structure a one two three reversal pattern a rising wedge whatever pattern that forms i we must make sure that this pattern supports a trend continuation to the downside within this supply zone that i have identified here so this is my scenario here on the euro usd so i hope that this is clear enough for us to understand and i think i've made things a little bit more easier for us as we can see the scale level as our guide going into the new york session so this key level is our guide right above the key level supports a bullish momentum and right below the key level supports a bearish momentum so i would like to pause at this moment and if we do have any questions kindly type it in the comment section and i'll be willing to be of assistance in that regard so 10 seconds 11 seconds 10 to 15 seconds will do as i run through the comment section to see if there are any questions that needs further clarifications okay Vissil, good day everyone sure good day to you too Alex Gap hi how are you uh nads 928 hi to chair okay hello Paul. it's good after okay well we are still in the morning here in Nigeria and um Mr Zane is still here to ask the question he wants to ask I told okay Okay, Wax2307 still yet to ask the question he wants to ask. So I've still waited for your question. Then Pivo Bix is asking us to do something on Euro JPY. Well, okay, let's see. Let's see if that can be squeezed into what we are going to talk about today. Um let's see if we can squeeze that into our plans for today so someone is someone said this afternoon this morning to that we should do something on gold so I want to switch over to gold in the absence of no questions 